like you're thinking, fucking about time. Where have you been? Well, it is need to know time, guys. <laughs> Big time. The last uh, few months has actually been quite manic. Work, going through a divorce, having a little go on the dating sites. That was a failure. That's what I thought of that. All these little things are uh, not too good. And I lost one of my parents too. So uh, that brought me back for a bit. But on this video, I am going to build you a power supply, as promised. What will make that thing behind us look like a total toy? So I'm off now to Metal Prefabrications, Dartford Limited, and they're going to make me yet another control panel. This is the basic shape that I want, and it's slightly different to the other one. Of course, Metal Prefabrications, Dartford, also built this one on my design and then I put the guts in it but the new one I'll be able to stuff it right back against the wall so it's slightly different and then I can carry on with my project up here playing about with some hydrogen I think it's about time we could split water efficiently and use the bloody energy from it so I'll have a go myself and you guys are part of it. Let's just hope it doesn't go bang, because you might hear it from where you are. And there'll definitely be no house left. Anyway, let's get this uh, proper big boy supply done. Obviously my welding's not as good as theirs, but here we have our new control panel and transformer housing. The metal box is finished, holes cut in it, painted, sprayed on the inside with a clear lacquer. Even the underside's done, so that's good. Right, I think we'll need to put some bits in it. I think we'll need a very large contactor to do the work, a couple of breakers, input output sockets, nuts and bolts. Let's get on with it. I think it's time to get that control box on the top of that. See what happens. Oh, I've got the lead ready. <laughs> Excellent. And there it is with the cable in and out connected. That just needs to go downstairs. That's some proper cable, that is. 16mm. That's like 100 amps easy. <laughs> this is our control tray we're going to use. I think we'll need to get some bits on it. Again, it's got holes in it where I think they should be. A little notch cut out there. Quite straightforward, it's nice and easy to work with a bit of alley. So let's get some gear on it. We need to see if that actually fits in that cabinet or control box, whatever you want to call it, um, without any conflict. Let's have a detailed look. Easy. Straight in there, no bother whatsoever. So, uh, that's progress anyway. Well, this is the business end. Power comes in there, 80 amp, combined RCD, MCB. Goes through these CTs. That's the input, that's the output. Each of these start-up contactors is driven by these smaller relays on a triple latching circuit. We've got the uh, balancing chokes, which take the output of each of the transformers just to ensure that each output of the transformer is roughly the same so basically it divides the difference nice big juicy output contactor and a ton of control relays loads and there's a lot of terminals down there these have all got to be wired up to these switches on the front panel what a nice job that is but we're getting there, it's a little bit compact but it's designed like that the MCB is at the back. Don't get smashed up on the wall. As you can see, with a few household tools and drill bits, we've got the front panel done. Just one more little technical problem. I've got to wire all this lot up. 
with no bloody drawing. Just make it up as I go along. But I'm going to get this thing to do something good. But yeah, this one is going on that output. 480 volts at 50 amps. <laughs> this is the guts of the unit. Finally finished and wired up totally. Ready to turn on. The front panel's a bit messy, but it is fit for purpose. It's all 24 volt anyway. Well, most of it. So, I think we need to turn it on. Quick shot of the back of the unit first. I'll keep you teased. Hmm. Not too bad. I know guys, you just want to see it on and do something. Oh, we've got a bit of a technical problem. <laughs> on the channel it says one man in a plug socket. Or is it one man in a plug? I can't remember. Well, it is, but the plug just got a bit bigger. so. I think we can uh, accommodate that. Right, this goes straight into the national grid. No nonsense. <laughs> right, let's turn this thing on, shall we? Oh, that looks nice, don't it? Shall we turn it on? Better give you a close up to see what's going on, eh? All these things control the current, overall power, we've got our alarm. These are options whether we hold it at its limit or go right into it. Automatic return. Let's have these alarms on. On. But if we don't have that latch on, momentarily, which is good for busting and stuff obviously. We want some power on there, don't we? We've got a remote control feature. Brings itself back to zero for once when it's finished. If it cuts out or whatever happens, always brings itself back to zero, which is quite a useful function. And we've got a voltage preview. So if I bring this up, see the old volts rising. I don't need to hold that. If I have that control latch on, that take it up to whatever these are set at. You can set the power the current, everything on these meters, so anything you want within one watt, so I don't think we'll have a megawatt there. Oh, the old variac there is climbing. I'm not touching it, it goes. It knows exactly what to do. So I can put in there, give us 10 kilowatt, and it will give me that to the nearest watt. Same on the valves or the amps. And I've got that to cut out at 80 amps, so I could increase that a bit. If you don't have that latch on, you can nudge it up. Or down, bit by bit. Look at that, it will not let me go over 240 or whatever I program it at. It's easy to do it with these. You have an argument with it, can't you? This preview button is quite good because if I have to vary that there and that contact is off it's actually saying no volts but if I want to know what voltage it actually is before I do hit that contact button then I can hit this preview button I can see there's 155 volts there and that's obviously this side of the contact as well so at least I can see what's there before I do it, the button, using that. Let's connect this up to this transformer then, shall we? This will double the output voltage anyway. Check the zero there. little gadget on the floor there, it's called Busterfuck. 
because it is going to bust shit to fuck badly. Let's see if we can get some nice noises then, shall we? Might start humming when it reaches too haughty. Power's on. She's climbing. So when that thing there is at 120 volts, which is about where that is, there'll be two voltage going out there. So you can imagine what happens when there's 270 going into that thing. You'll hear it in a minute, hopefully. Starting to pull some amps now. Right, you hear that? That sound nice. You see, I think I got it right. This is exactly what a living room's for. Why didn't I think of this before? Having all this heavy stuff upstairs. That's not good, is it? So I'll have all the heavy gear down here. This thing's remote control. Big, long, fat extension lead all the way to wherever I want it, outside or upstairs. That has a little joystick on it and a meter. And that connects to that and it's all remote control, so I can tell this thing what to do just by a tiny little joystick upstairs or wherever. So uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Thank you very much for your patience, gentlemen and ladies. Uh, I think we've got a few vids coming up, big time. I nearly forgot, guys. You've actually got a P.O. box. It's in the About button on the channel, so if you want to send pictures and get them upstairs and be quite a part of that reactor thing when I finally finish it, that's up to you. But it's there. Emails were a bit manic. Um, I've had to delete about a million and start again, unfortunately, because my mailbox grows up. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. Even if you get a small gadget that's pissed you off, if you want to send it through on that P.O. box, I will annihilate it and give you a big shout out because I can't stand gadgets and appliances what just do not come up to standard. It pisses me right off. So this little machine just here will fix that problem once and for all. <laughs> big time. So it's all good finally. But again guys, and I mean it, thanks for being patient. And uh, I'm sure there'll be some videos shortly. There's quite a stack actually on the computer, so uh, now I've actually got a camera and a computer that works. Um, this is a new camera we've got now, for the next one, but I think it's capable of reasonable quality, hopefully. Let's see if the editing software comes up. Uh, right, I'm off. Speak soon. Thank you. Bye.